goodies from the shed. Look out now! Okay, I'm back and I got some goodies from the shed. I think this is the third edition to this series. I didn't get as much as I usually get from the shed. And if you've never heard of the shed, uh, look at the link at the bottom. It's going to go to Welcome Back Collectibles Facebook page. Uh, he owns a store. He sells at the store and everything. But once or twice a month, he does um, online sales, I call them. Uh, you get on there, you watch, he gets crazy, gets a little comedy, shows uh, something and tells you uh, how much it is, and the first to type in claim gets it. And if you don't live around here, you can get it shipped to you. After the sale's all done and everything, they'll contact you with your total price. If you buy one or you buy 30 things, uh, the next day I usually, uh, they'll get a hold of you. And um, if you live nearby, you can go by the store and pick it up. Uh, so yeah, check it out. The link in the bottom, Welcome Back Collectibles Facebook page. You have to hit that, uh, thumb button on there, uh, for the like, and you'll get notifications when he has a sale. So I think he's going to try to do twice a month now. So this last one, I didn't get a whole lot. The first thing I did pick up in there, I'll probably put this on my eBay store. It's a Harley Quinn pop here. Never really seen one of these, um, in red boxes. I don't really know if it's rare or not. I got a pretty decent deal on it. Hopefully, I can uh, make a little bit of money off of this. I don't really want to pop, but I picked it up anyway. Uh, the next one goes up with, you know, the last few sales. I've got some, a lot of NES games. This is one that I remember playing with my buddy Matt back in the day, Skate or Die. Uh, it's in a protector case and everything. It's complete right there. He's got a sticker on it. For 35 but I gave a little bit less I think I think I might have gave 30 for this one uh, most of the other ones I gave like 24 in the past but uh, you know I've been thinking about selling them and then sometimes I get to where I want to keep them I don't that's the thing about reselling and collecting some things I like to keep some things I like to uh, sell and make some money off of uh, the next few things I got from him were posters uh, this first one I'm going to pop up on the screen here is uh, Dawn of the Dead. It's not original or anything, but it is a pretty cool poster. And I have owned it in the past and uh, got rid of it. One got trashed one time. I think I've had it two or three different times in my life. Uh, but uh, it was a pretty good deal. The uh, frame on it is uh, kind of, you know, a little jive. But uh, I'm going to have to take it out and get a new frame for it. Uh, so... That was one of them I really wanted. The next one is uh, Freddy's Dead. This one's a pretty cool poster. Um, I don't know. I just just like the look of that. I don't really care much for the movie or nothing, but uh, I don't really have any Freddy posters. You know, I've got uh, a Jason poster and stuff and other horror-related uh, posters of different movies and stuff, but uh, never had one of the uh, Freddy movies, so uh, except for Nightmare on Elm Street. I just told a lie there. I just now thought about it. I do have Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. Uh, but now I have Freddy's Dead, which was actually supposed to have been the last one. But they ended up having the new Nightmare or whatever. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. It's a cool looking poster. But hey, it was in the shed, so I had to grab it up. Uh, and then the last one, I didn't even think about it until after he popped it up. And I was like, you know, I, I don't really need it. This is one that I know I don't... If, in fact have is a texas chainsaw massacre poster and um so i just go ahead and claimed it and want it to i think there was another poster that he had in there i didn't get it i think it was a jason one uh but it just it was a it wasn't like a movie poster it was something different uh but i, I this one's pretty cool and i don't have a texas chainsaw massacre poster i have a many many posters uh behind the door over here and they're going to go to that and i still have a rambo poster i just recently got that i haven't got framed it's original one sheet so yeah i got problems with uh, posters yeah 
Uh, I don't have that much room. I say I'm going to switch them out every once in a while, but I never do. Uh, so I don't know. I told him not to put no posters in the next shed sale. He said, just don't buy them. I said, I can't help it. I like posters, but I don't have a whole lot of room for them. But uh, yeah, that's all I got on the shed sale. I got all them posters. I think they were like 20 a piece. All of them's going to have to be reframed. Uh, two of them's kind of smaller than the Dawn of the Dead posters. But um, I just didn't get a whole lot in this one. Uh, there was a lot of uh, stuff that I just didn't care about. But, yeah, you get on there and you check him out and you get some comedy. Um, they throw up, uh, I mean, he sells VHS sometimes on there. He sells video games, pop figures, uh, like you've seen here, posters, uh, just 80s stuff, like old 80s toys sometimes they'll throw up there. Uh, he had a Star Wars set one time. They sold a bunch of them. And uh, just a little bit of everything, you know, that, just really cool stuff, just like he sells in his store. So check him out. Give him a like on the Welcome Back Collectibles Facebook page and get on a claim sale. I call them shed, uh, sales from the shed. That's what I call them, yeah. Get a little tongue-tied sometimes with the shed stuff. But anyway, tune in to the shed sales. Till next time.